Hello everyone, welcome to Art and Design. My name is Torkid and today I just wanted to make a quick video about how to import brushes into iPad apps. You can choose a brush like here and uh, click on this one right here. Then it says unsupported file type. How do we fix this? How do we get this brush into Procreate? Okay, so what's going on over here? Well, the thing is that this isn't an unsupported file type for Procreate, it's an unsupported file type for Google Drive. So what we actually need to do is we need to tap on these three dots right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and open in this one right here. And if we tap on this, we see it's downloaded, and now we can just copy it into Procreate. So if I go ahead and copy this right into Procreate like so, it's gonna open up the app. What happened? Where did it go? Well, if you just tap into any canvas, tap on the brush right here, we see on the top we have the brushes. So these brushes were actually downloaded from the Art and Design website. Now there's gonna be a bunch more uh, brushes coming up and I'm gonna upload as many brushes as I can on the website and hopefully I can make them all free for you to use. I wanna make this open to the community. I want to actually build uh, a way for us to collaborate uh, together on things like this. Now, if you want to download a brush from another place, for example, the procreate.art website, just go to procreate.art, tap on discussions, and then navigate down into resources and tap on browse on resources. And then there's this thing right here, tag, just gonna tap on this, and there we can see brushes. So if we tap on the brushes, here we see you know, a bunch of brushes that we can download. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, uh, some of them are of various quality, but you know, let's try for example, hmm, realistic ballpoint, fat cap spray brush pack. All right, we'll share to those who ask or request. Okay, there's no download link here, so let's find another one. Okay, let's sort by highest rated. So the top rated ones are the Nikko brushes. So let's try those out. So once we tap on a link, we see it's loading. Okay, roll blah, 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 dot brush, no preview available. Again, tap on the three dots right there, go export. And now we can copy it into Procreate. And there we go, importing. Oh, let's just get this out of the way. Now once we tap, we can see import it. It navigated us into import it. And here we see the Nikko roll, which is a really nice brush. It's got a nice texture to it. Pretty, pretty good brush. So that's pretty much how it's done. I'm gonna try to pick it up and drop it into Photoshop. Let's see what happens. Did it work? Does not look like it worked. What about Affinity Designer? Can I import a Photoshop brush into Affinity Designer? Take this brush, drop it right here. Let's select the brush. That's a question, where did it go? So we have pens, we have chalks, acrylics, watercolors, and basic. So we have to go to the pixel persona first. And let's see if we have a landscape. Recent brushes, uh, felt pen. Yeah, that doesn't seem to have worked. Now I know that I can do this with Procreate. So if I take a Photoshop brush, if I take a Photoshop brush and drop it in, um, it should actually import into Procreate 5. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I have to open Procreate 5. And let's try this here. So, drop it into Procreate 5. It only works on Procreate 5. There we go. Photoshop brush, just import it into Procreate 5. Oh, there we go. Landscape. There we go. Landscape brushes, okay, create a new canvas. Huh. 
Very nice. Blue trees. And right, that's the mountains in the distance. That is oh, trees. Yeah, you get the point. <laughs> you get the point. So you can import brushes, Photoshop brushes into Procreate 5. You yeah, can't import them into Procreate 4. And you know, it's various luck depending on what program you're using, depending on uh, what you're doing. It might work to download specific brushes and import them into specific programs. Depends on if the program has been updated. The main point is try to either just take up the brush and uh, just plopping it into the program, see if it actually imports. But that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank you all very much for watching. Go ahead and check out uh, artindesign.tv and check out the asset library. I'm gonna continue building this library. And if you want to help and uh, have your brushes featured on the website, then you know, find a way to contact me and uh, let me know you're interested. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Like this video if you liked it, if you found it helpful, click that like button. You can share it with anyone who might be interested in this sort of thing. Uh, but other than that, I want to thank you all very much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.